Hello students welcome back to your next class for english let us start today with the poem rain on the roof that's the third poem of your main beehive book but before we start the poem uh, i just want to you know like share with you certain things so like uh, you know many a times in our life there are certain incidents Uh, that happens or which takes place and this incidents evokes a kind of long lost memories okay and because of those memories our mind is in complete bliss it's in peace happiness now like uh, let me let me give you an example at many a times as uh, you all are growing up uh, you know gradually you know if you see the younger kids the kids in the kindergarten uh, maybe say in the pre primary level at times when you see them playing or when you see them sharing tiffin with one another you might remember like yeah, certain memories comes up in your mind of those days when you were of their age or when you, when you know you were of their class and you did the same thing with your friends and you sh- you just enjoy those things right just seeing the younger kids you enjoy those memories those sweetness or at times for example like uh, when you listen to certain songs right nowadays there are so many songs available so like when you listen certain songs it makes you remind of your friend or about your you know relatives or anybody like you know whomever you can relate to and likewise as i give you the example of songs or the junior kids so there can be anything it can be a kind of a sound it can be a kind of a scenery or even a scent which can make you remember yeah with the scent i just remember something yeah now it is uh, i hope like you know all of you are uh, watch uh, you you definitely watch television that's for sure right or you don't watch or oh, maybe you're so busy in studying because of the online classes that you don't get time to watch at all yeah so but at times whenever you watch this uh, so called uh, television uh, you will find that many a times the advertisements there are certain types of advertisements where they telecast where they show you know like i remembered with the word scent that there's an ad i don't remember exactly what ad this but just with the smell of a scent they remember their friends they remember their family members likewise okay so there can be certain incidents many incidents which can happen in a life and which can you know bring back those long lost memories which we had so this poem that we are about to discuss is also very much similar it is very much you know similar to the discussion that we i shared just now at times it so happens that uh, the sound the sound of the rainfall on the roof it bring back some memories right if you ever had any memories with the rain then definitely whenever you see rain or whenever there is a sound of rain drops you can recall those memories so this poem is also attached to the memory which is in linked with the rain drops or which is in linked with the sound of the rain drops in this poem we will see that the poet he recalls his memories of his childhood okay by the sound of the rainfall as most of us have experienced love and affection by our mother right our mother show towards us our mother generally when we are small we are young right as you grow up your mother love your parents love never changes for us it is all the same but we tend to become you know we tend to become a kind of we act like we are grown up we don't need any more like we feel a kind of an awkward feeling that's what you generally show which is wrong okay no matter how much we grow up for our parents for our mother for our father we are always the very same young little boy the young little girl that we were but most often what happens the love and the affection that our mother have showed towards us during our childhood we tend to recall it at one point or the other when we grow up in this particular poem the same thing is shared by the poet 
here the poet recalls his mother's love and affection towards him during his childhood days and later by recalling those memories he feels very happy about it okay and this sort of thoughts come flooding into even into our mind as well our mind also on a rainy night especially and when we are alone on top of that right it's not that all the time i'm not saying that everybody has got their memories related to mother on a rainy night it can it, it may not be so but something or the other you can relate to all right now let us see the poem the point in this particular poem has basically described about his imagination okay the imagination while he listens to the patter of the rain on the roof the patter the sound and by listening to the sound of the rain on his roof he is lost into the you know world of different ideas and he feels the presence of his mother in fact at night there are dark clouds that covers the sky and as it rains gently the poet lies on his cozy bed listening to the patter of the soft rain on the roof and he enjoys the sound the melody of the nature and every tinkle on the roof echoes in his heart he recalls the memory of his childhood the single memory that comes to him during this particular moment when he listens to the sound of the rain is the memory of his mother he pictures the face of his mother as it used to look you know an imagination picture like he he creates a picture in front of his eyes many a times even we do that when we miss someone a lot so he pictures the face of his mother as it used to look at him as she tucked him in the bed and he recalls that how his mother used to tell him stories he continues enjoying the patter of the rain on the roof by remembering the moments the time which he had spent with his mother and as i told you at night there are dark clouds that covers the sky so basically this dark clouds or the you know clouds of darkness you can say it shows a kind of its unhappiness okay the cloud is showing unhappiness and as a result it drops its tears in the form of rain so see this poem has got two different sides one side just now i told you that the cloud creates darkness for the starry sky the sky which was full with complete which was filled of stars is now covered with dark clouds and as a result it is showing its unhappiness through tears of rain right and on the other side you see there is happiness where happiness in poet's mind with the sound of the rain drops which falls on his roof he recalls his sweet memories his most beautiful days of his life of his childhood days which he had spent with his mother so in one side so there's a contrast right in one side the poem shows unhappiness and the other side the poem also tells us or shows happiness are you getting it unhappiness because of the rain drops as it is compared to the tears happiness as described by the poet the memories which he recalls of his childhood days the days which he had shared with his mother okay i hope you got this poem it's a simple poem a short poem but it has got a very big deep message which we all must learn from the poem and i repeat once again so you know what is the main message of the poem is that that there is a certain incident and this incident hap which happens that evokes you know that creates that generates a kind of a a long a lost memories which we lost and when we recall those memories because of those particular incidents 
our mind is filled with happiness joy pleasure all right just go through the poem and in case you find any doubt you may get back to me take care